Mr. Cat back again here with Dr. Daniker, supervisor of our science department. We're so excited about some of the course offerings coming out of the science department this year for course selection. And I'm here today to ask him some questions about that so he can elaborate on all the opportunities that you have. So tell us, Dr. Daniker, what can our students take in our science department? Excellent. Well, we have a lot of offerings and we break them down into what pretty much happens in ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. So ninth grade is our principles of science class. So this is geology, which is the study of earth and a basic chemistry. 10th grade is biology and the study of life and you have the bio keystone uh, after that course. So that's the end of course exam for that. Mm -hmm. 11th grade is usually chemistry and 12th grade is physics. So what we do, if you're going on to a four-year college, you take one of those sciences each year and you go through to your senior year, you have all four sciences and a well-rounded education. If you're looking at more of a, I don't know, a technical school, you're going to go to the CTC, maybe you're going into the military or right into a uh, business right out of uh, high school, we can work with a three-year program where you can take your senior year and go to the CTC. So mm -hmm. we'll work with a three-year program as well. So those are the required courses that we have. Then we have the electives. Of course, we have advanced placement courses. We have advanced placement biology, AP chemistry, AP physics, and AP environmental science. We also have other year-long electives like freshwater biology and ecology, which are really field courses. The students mm -hmm. go out and collect data. They're in their streams. They're uh, collecting dirt samples. They're collecting organisms, uh, macroinvertebrates. So it's a real field-based courses. We also have a research class, which uh, ultimately ends in a science fair project, which can actually net you some money. Uh, you mm. can win some prizes at the North Money's uh, always Museum. Good. Yep. Money's good. Yep. So that's a great opportunity. And then we created a whole series of marking period electives. So that's a half credit elective. Uh, some of them are new. So we have astronomy. We have anatomy and physiology, A and B, forensic science, biotechnology, electric circuits, Pennsylvania fishes, chemistry in the kitchen, wow. and a, a science, society, and technology which is a virtual class looking at how technology impacts our society. What's the difference between ecology and freshwater biology? I know they're similar mm -hmm. in some yep. ways. That's an excellent question. So freshwater biology focuses on the freshwater. So you're getting the macroinvertebrates, the stream studies, water chemistry, and ecology is more terrestrial. You're looking at the landforms and how it impacts the watershed rather than the actual streams and rivers. Forensic science sounds so cool. I know mm -hmm. a lot of kids watch CSI and shows right. like that. Right. What do they learn in forensic science? Well, it's all crime scene investigation from fingerprints to ballistics. Uh, Miss Yee is our current teacher for that. And she actually does a lot of lab activities where the students are doing problem solving to solve the crime. And chemistry in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It's kind of like an FCS class in a way, but it's a science course. Correct, because right? it's really focusing on the science of cooking. So uh, what does baking powder versus baking soda do in a recipe? If you're using egg whites, what does it actually do for the recipe? So there are some times that the kids are cooking at home and bringing in what they make, or they'll actually make it in class. They made cheese this year. Wow. Uh, so it's actually the chemistry of cooking. And biotechnology. Mm -hmm. What is that? Well, biotechnology is a course where it's all hands-on, lab-based again. We're looking at DNA fingerprinting, so you're actually uh, breaking down and collecting the DNA samples, putting it through gel electrophoresis, plus a wide range of other cool biotechniques that we mention in biology classes and get a chance to just do a little bit in AP Bio. So it's really a, a hands-on biotech class. So cool. So many opportunities. It's fantastic. So. Talk to us, talk to your teachers in the science department, talk to your counselors so we can really investigate all these opportunities, can really change your life taking these courses. So communicate with us and think about everything we said here today. Thank you, everybody.